the best game in Europe this season was not in the Champions League. It was in Europa League. Manchester United against Barcelona. United went to Camp Nou and they played their football. It was a it was an end to end game. Both teams had so many chances. And like we said yesterday, there was going to be goals in this game, and we all four very good goals. Manchester United went one 0 down. Marcus Alonso scored uh, a header, and they responded immediately. Rashford doing what Rashford does, and he scored a goal at Testegas near post. I think he'd be disappointed with that. Rashford beat Rafinha and put the ball in a dangerous area. And Manchester United went 2-1 up. To be honest, they looked really comfortable at that point. Game at 2-1 up, Marcus Rashford was slid in. Jules Kunde, the last man, takes him down. It was not a penalty. He, it was on the edge of the box. But he was the last man. It is a clear red card. And that would have changed the game completely because United would be playing the rest of the game against 10 men probably hold that 2-1 lead and Jules Kunde would have been out for the second leg so that absolutely awful decision from the referee has completely changed um, the outcome of the game and I know Barca fans will complain about Fred handball it was such a close range he literally headed it directly onto his hand even if it was, even if it was given, it was after that Rashford incident. So, in that situation, should not have even occurred. Your Barcelona should have been playing with 10 men at that point of the game. But, towards the end of the game, once Barcelona got their equaliser, they did look threatening and in the last couple of minutes, it was them knocking on the door to try to get the winner. But we take um, a 2-2 first legged score back to Old Trafford. So Barcelona have to come to Old Trafford now and I think this is a big opportunity for Manchester United. Gavi will be out for the second leg. It'll be interesting to see what happens with Pedri. He is injured. He looked so short of options on the bench. We only made one sub bringing on Ganacho. You look at that midfield. Casemiro, Fred. Um, on the bench we only had youngsters. For that second leg, Marcel Sabitzer will be back, so we'll have some some options to change the game. I'm confident in this United team. It was a very big test today for Eric Ten Hag. Barcelona are eight points clear at the top of La Liga, and United played very good football and should have scored much more goals. I still think there's a lot of work to do with this team. But as predicted, if you watched yesterday's video, we did start the way I, I believe so with Rashford down the middle, Sancho on the left, of course as a 10 and Bruno on the right because we did see that um against Leeds United and I think it worked really well for for part of the game um against Barcelona. Vegas did a lot of defensive duties in that number 10 role. He got back, he tracked back, he made tackles. It was good to see. But I still I think we really do need Anthony Dos Santos for that second leg because he's someone that holds that worth. Uh, it'll be really important to see who Man United can get fit for that second leg. But we played really good football. Every 10 Hogs biggest test yet for this United team and they performed very well. The scoreline could have been much larger for both teams, to be honest. Thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one.